The Yup validation library allows for dynamic validation rules based upon the data. So we'll first start by setting up a rule that will validate some nested data. We're going to say a yup object dot shape, and now we can define a shape schema. We'll give an optional object and say this is a yup dot object dot shape as well. And then we'll just have some other data that is a yup dot string that's required. So with this, if we toggle to our browser, we can see that our data is no longer valid. However, if we removed the code that we added, went back to our browser, everything's true. However, we want this particular object and its nested data to only validate if it exists. And we can do that using the yup.lazy function. So we're going to say yup.lazy which will receive a function. So we're going to copy this, and that function will be called with the value. And now we can determine, based upon the value, whether or not we need to dynamically change the validation rules. So in our case, if the value is defined, and that value is going to be this optional object, if it is an object, essentially, or if it's basically not undefined, then we will return our validation rules. So we'll say if value doesn't equal undefined, then we'll return what we had there previously. However, because we always need to return some sort of validation schema, we're going to return a not required mix. So we're going to say return yup.mixed, which mixed is what all of the base validation extends from, so string, etc. And then we'll return not required. Now, if we look at our browser, we can see that we're valid. And that's because we're trying to validate our state, which is empty. Now, if we were to add some sort of button press that will add the optional data, so we say on click, we'll do a this.setState. And inside of there, we're going to add our optional object and we're just going to pass in an object. So when we click on this, that optional object will go from undefined to an object that we will then have this re-triggered and we'll see when we press on this that it changes to false. And that's because this then runs again right here, re-render happens, we validate it, it sees that the value is no longer undefined and we now have our dynamic rules that expects this shape with other data and a string to be required. And just to validate that that is working, if we passed in other data with a string of tests and we press add optional, it stays true because the data is still valid that we're attempting to validate that we set here.